In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy files between Kali VM and the Windows 10 VM within several range. What we are going to do here is we will first go to our Kali VM. Okay, I want to make this screen look better. And then, so I want to start the SS service so that we can actually do the file transfer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually use this command, sudo service sh start. Okay, then I input a caddy. Okay, so now the s sh service, it is started. And uh, so I also want to look at the IP address of uh, this uh, caddy VM. So it is like this, 192.168.7.88. Great. And uh, so you can see here's my current folder. I also want to actually create a new file called a tst .tite txt within the current folder. So I create this file. I'm going to actually copy this file from Kali VM to Windows 10 VM. And uh, so here is uh, what I'm going to do here. Again, I want to adjust the interface so it looks better. Okay. And uh, so here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a terminal here. Right. And uh, here is uh, the terminal. And I want to copy the file, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use uh, the SCP command again within Windows. So we have the SCP command or program installed on Windows 10 VM. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the file at 168.7.88 called txt dot txt. And here, the curly symbol here means the current folder. So what I want to do here is I'm going to copy the file at this IP address for this account. The file is located within the home folder of this account. The name is a txt.txt to the current folder with the same name. Okay, so I'm going to input the password. And now you can see the file actually is copied to here. So if uh, this is the first time you actually do the copy, and uh, then here you'll be prompted with uh, accepting a certificate, then you just uh, say yes. Okay, and uh, if I do DIR, I can see the file. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer this file to the Caddy VM. So how do I do this? So I'm just doing this. Power exe to this account at this IP address. OK, and so with the same name. Right, and uh, so I'm do this, and uh, oh, I input uh, the IP address wrong. Okay, and it runs here. Okay, and the port 82 cannot host 192. Oh, sorry, it's uh, the wrong IP address again. Okay, now it's right. Okay, good. So let's come back to the Caddy VM. I'm going to show the files here. So if I do the list again, you can see 
the file is copied from Windows 10 VM to here. So that's how you do the file transfer between Kali VM and the Windows 10 VM.